so cute for summertime. I got Prosecco, she got an Aperol Spritz. Come on. I should win a prize. What's up guys, happy vlog day I guess. I got up pretty early today which I'm quite happy about. I am currently making my, but it's not even breakfast, like what I eat with my coffee. Lately for the last couple days I've been doing this Dave's Killer Bread. This is, I don't remember what it was. It was just but like BOGO at Publix. So I grab that and then I do a small layer of cream cheese. And then I use this hot pepper jelly from Stonewall Kitchen. This is like the best thing ever with a cheese board, but I figured having it for breakfast. One of my best friends sent us a picture that she was eating like a bagel with cream cheese and a little bit of hot pepper jelly. And I was like, that sounds so good. So I just been putting it on toast. Today I figured I would turn on the vlog camera because I did lots of like filming yesterday. Like I did um, a 333 video, which I'll leave it linked down below if you haven't watched it. Actually, I, this one I think was my favorite so far. I bought, I made a Instacart order yesterday. It was like, there were tornado warnings everywhere yesterday. It was crazy. But I made an Instacart order yesterday for Aldi and I got like tons of veggies because that's really all I needed um, and just stuff for like lunch for the week and I figured I would do all of my prepping today because I cannot deal when I have like every single time I'm gonna make something I need to like pre-chop so I'm gonna do my belt I left everything really on the counter I'm gonna do bell peppers I have red onions here I'm gonna do uh, pico because I also ordered limes. Damn, I forgot to get cilantro, but that's fine um, So I'm gonna do like that little prepping with you um, And show you guys like basically what I'm gonna prep for the week. I personally genuinely cannot Function if I don't have stuff prepped. It takes me like 10 times longer to think of what to make to throw things together and whenever I have like a large batch of like let's just say ground turkey or pico prepped or whatever i can make like quick meals all the time and a friend of mine nicole who watches my videos she had mentioned asking if i could like kind of talk about like how i prep certain things because she's a mom to three very small kids and she works um so just like to make life easier and i genuinely feel like prepping your ingredients is the only it's literally the only way it's the only way one o'clock i am getting lunch with a friend we're gonna go to brio so i'll probably bring you guys along i will bring you guys along to that all right so we just got back from our walk we got another like temperature drop i don't know where but i'm about to start doing a fridge dump because i haven't done one in a long time and there's like expired stuff and just like things that need to go This chai is still good, but this is no longer good. What did I do? What? What did I do? What are you talking about? Oh, you said something pisses me off. I did say. I said this is no longer good. Oh. Okay. Okay, cleaned out the fridge. We are organized. We are, we're doing well. Everything is organized by category, lined up, tossed out, anything that I'm not going to eat, blah, blah, blah. So I took out all of my Tupperwares. Um, I really need to get more because so many of them have broken because um, they're glass. But I have two really big ones. These, and then I have a medium-ish sized one. And then I have mini ones and i have another one in the sink for that and i have this one so this one is this has a lot of stuff for leonard i've mentioned before but i put um chopped vegetables fruits things like that to top his food um because 
I don't know. I just think about how gross kibble must be and it makes me feel bad that like that's what he has to eat. So I just look up things that are good for dogs. Um, most vegetables are, but make sure you check if you're gonna like give your food, your dogs any food because there are things that are poisonous to them like onions, avocados, tomatoes. There's a, a couple things that they can't have. So definitely check, but in here I have butternut squash and broccoli that I prepped him yesterday. And he's really been liking, you can see this whole bowl was full. So what I'm going to chop up, I always like to make fresh pico. So I have red onions, so, uh, red onions, tomatoes, and limes here. I forgot to get cilantro, but it's no big deal. I'll still, it'll be fine. And for this one, I think I'm going to use a large Tupperware because I make a lot of this and I can eat pico on anything, whether it's tacos, burritos, scrambled eggs. I love pico. So it's something that like is worth it to me to have like a large stock of. And then um, I'm going to do sweet potatoes. So I think I'm going to just like saute them. I personally love sweet potatoes and sweet potatoes are really good for the dog. So I have what, four sweet potatoes here. Green bell pepper that I'm going to do one whole bell pepper like um, in strips, like for fajita style foods if I wanna add that to bowls. And then the other one I'm gonna do them diced in case I want like smaller pieces. So yeah, that's, that's pretty much what I'm gonna do. And then I'm just gonna fit as much as I possibly can into these Tupperwares. Normally I really, really love to, oh nice hair. I really like to, um, prep some sort of meat. Normally it's ground turkey, ground chicken, ground beef. Um, sometimes I'll do like chicken breast. And whenever I do chicken breast, this is such a big life saving hack, time saving hack, especially if you are a mom, a working mom, just someone that has to leave the house and you just don't wanna have to think about anything. If you take chicken breast, plain chicken breasts and if you don't have a crock pot you need to get a crock pot honestly that's something that will also save you so much time a lot of people are scared to use the crock pot and leave it home alone because it's something that's cooking something while you're not home but i promise like it, it works fine i've done so many things and that's the whole purpose of it it cooks it very very low and slow um the amount of times that i have made soups i've made pastas i've made dips and like left to work or like left somewhere and then came back and it was done is so clutch and if your kids for example or you and your spouse whatever like a specific protein for like a couple of meals like let's just say for example chicken i would personally take this i have this chicken defrosting right now this is Publix uh boneless skinless chicken breast so it's just regular chicken breast two big fillets and i put that into my crock pot I cover it with chicken broth. You can do chicken broth, you can do bone, whatever type of broth you want. Just make sure there's a little bit of a liquid in there. And then I add all my seasoning. So I'll do sofrito, I'll do garlic powder, salt, pepper, onion powder, whatever it is that you wanna flavor it with. Usually I like to keep the flavors really mild because I wanna be able to use it if I wanna cook it with pasta or if I wanna cook it with tacos. Like I wanna be able to have the flavor palette really like plain. So I'll just do like salt, pepper, garlic, paprika, things like that and then if I wanna like add more seasonings to it when I'm actually making the meal that I'm gonna use the meat for, um, then I'll like re-season it. But I literally throw that in there and by the time, what, six hours pass, it's like shredded already in the top, in the crock pot and I just throw that into like one of these big Tupperwares and I have chicken there for the next, usually like two days-ish. So if you're someone with kids, especially if you're a busy working mom or just a busy working human being, woman, man, whatever it is watching this, the crock pot is your best friend. I am personally not going to crock pot anything today. This baby right here. If there's anything that I can influence you to buy, get you a veggie chopper. I promise you this makes it so much faster, especially again, being a busy mom or a busy person in general. This makes prepping your chopped things so fast you guys see me use it all the time and there's different sized uh like choppy things i have this one if i want like bigger chunks so i'll probably do this for like the bell peppers and then this one i do for like really tiny pieces which i'll probably do for the um pico i will cut it like this like into big chunks that the chopper will easily be able to chop through 
and it makes chopping so easy. You can even, if your kids are like old enough-ish, that they could help you with this. It won't hurt them because it's completely covered. And it just makes everything the same size, nice and perfectly chopped. This goes so well in like egg breakfast situations. I think I might even make um, like egg bites. I can't remember if I have like tins, cupcake tins. Sorry, Denny. I do. So this is another thing you could very easily do for breakfast for kids or for yourself. I have a carton of egg whites. I can literally fill all of these up with egg white veggies and I can eat that every single morning instead of having to make scrambled eggs every single morning. So I actually do that. Okay, so there we go. Two whole tomatoes chopped in like 10 seconds. I do one whole red onion for the pico. So there we go, we have onion and tomato. Like I said, if I had cilantro, that would obviously go into the mix. But this I always make to throw on top of bowls, on top of eggs. Um, if I'm gonna make burritos, if I'm gonna make tacos, if I'm gonna make anything, this will probably last me, I'm not even kidding, like three days because I love pico. And pico just makes everything taste better. There's a lot of liquid. There it is, this huge batch. And all I'm gonna do is squeeze lime in there and then season it with some salt and pepper and that's done. A Little bit of salt just to bring out the flavor and some garlic powder. Mix this up and Tupperware one is ready. I personally like to do this on either Sundays or early Monday morning, and today is Thursday. So I'm a little behind, but I'm going to chop this one in just like small strips in case I want just like chunks of vegetables. Done. Then on to the other bell pepper. This one I'm going to chop like I'm gonna dice, but I'm gonna change the size for like bigger pieces. Okay, bell peppers are done, and now we're gonna do another red onion. Okay, so we got half of an onion and a bell pepper. Bell pepper and chopped onion, good to go. I hate peeling potatoes so much that I would rather just do it once, get it out of the way, and then never have to do it for the week. And I personally, I think I've told you guys before, I don't like meal prepping um, because I don't like the taste of like meals after they've been sitting. Like I can do like a day of leftovers, but I don't like eating like something sitting in the fridge, like especially meat sitting in the fridge for like days on days on days. That's just me personally. Um, so I will cook the ingredients or just like prep the ingredients so that I can easily make things without having to eat the same thing or leftovers over and over and over again. But that's just personally me. Some people thrive off of meal prep. It's great. I just, I don't personally like the taste of it, but it's so, easy to just chop a bunch of stuff.
I'm just gonna put them in this big Tupperware. We are at 26 minutes. So under 30 minutes and you can make so much shit or just prep. This is everything that I have. So we have sweet potatoes, a massive Tupperware of them, bell peppers and onions chopped, bell pepper strips, fresh pico. This is all Leonard's over there, that's broccoli. Um, and then we're about to do these little egg bite things. This is just like a Colby Jack. Just a little bit on each one. So I'm gonna put these in the oven till they like start to rise, I don't know how long, and then I'll show you once everything is done. Hey you guys, I'm so hyped. Okay, so my little egg bites came out. They're actually huge egg bites. This one's a little bit little, but that's fine because these are pretty big. And then I just took one out. Look at how cute that is. I'm obsessed. Um, it's pretty hot, so I just have it cooling right there. I have my sweet potatoes in here. I already took out a chunk of them. Like I took out like a nice little batch of them for Lenny before I like seasoned this one. So, I'm about to cut up some avocado. This is gonna be the most delicious breakfast. And mind you, it is like 11.30. And I'm going to lunch at one, but I'm very hungry. I can't hold out and eat there. Like, I'm, I'm very, very hungry. All I had was a piece of toast this morning. Okay, I got a little sweet potato out. And now I'm just gonna top, I guess I'll top my eggs with pico. Look at how yummy. This is about to hit. And I just have the air fryer still going. So yeah, very, well, long process for a vlog, but not really a long process in general. And now I have all this stuff prepped for the week. Okay, so I'm doing my final touches on getting ready. I really think that I should win a prize for how many times I like mix and match and rewear the same like five items because I'm literally just like, this is like my perfect combination actually. Um, I have on my little denim crop, which was one of the best things <laughs> I ever did. Literally one of my favorite things in the closet. I'm just touching up the couple top pieces of my hair because they fell this is my curling iron from Timo. I'm just using it as a wand because I don't feel like using like the clamp and all that which one am I gonna do today um, same as always Let's see if I could get the last pretty sure I got them all but Like barely anything all right today's <coughs> outfit of the day cropped shirt that I stole from Tyler's closet the black linen skirt and I'm wearing my Sambas I have no idea what bag I'm going to carry with this doesn't really even matter to be honest probably my black one um, but yeah that's it I really wish I had like a cute little belt I, I really think I'm gonna add one of those to my wardrobe um, and then hair, obviously. Same hoops as always. And yeah, that is today's outfit of the day.
I'm here running to meet her. <laughs> so here's Gabby. Oh wait, we don't do cheers. I got Prosecco, she got an Aperol Spritz. Bread and butter on the table. And if you've never had Brio's bread and butter, it, you could, go ahead, start ripping it open. Okay, it is. It's warm. Let me see if I can like set it up here. I was telling myself, you know, I'm working out, I'm like, I should bring up some cheesecake, some cheesecake. So I got the lobster bisque. The way that I have been wanting this lobster bisque. Oh. So hot. So we ended up in H&M. She's looking at these I'm going They have a minimum? Europe. Yes, we do. Yeah. Yeah. I have a couple of things. This was very unplanned. But it's fine. We're in my favorite store. Stop it. It's a snail. Look at these little I know. So fun. Yeah, those are pretty. Look at these little holders. That's beautiful. That is stunning. I still need to reorder my um what the fuck is it called? My toilet paper holder. Oh yeah, you do. I love this candle so much. So there's a cherry one of this brand mm -hmm. that's supposed to smell like the cherry Tom Ford. And mm -hmm. I don't smell it, but they don't have it here. Cherry gloss? Have you smelled it? I don't think that smells like it either. It smells like... I, that doesn't bathroom. smell like cherry. Yeah, it doesn't smell like cherry to me. Not this is my... I almost bought another one of these, but I still have one that's unburned. So that's just me being ridiculous. It's like champagne oh, something it smells, smells so good, good. It smells fresh. yeah and look at how look at this one the massive one yeah how is that three hundred dollars i think it's like two something not this one. Oh. <laughs> i mean i should have with how much the fucking it's diptyque so one pretty. was i know and it has like 10 wicks and shit this after yeah people have used them for bouquets like flowers yeah it's so beautiful if anyone wants to get this for me so Feels like it's only right to be an anthro and get the blue heart. Those are cute. Are those like Oshkosh? Those are cute. I mean, you'd have to crop like half the leg because. What size is this? Those are cute. If there's one thing about anthro, you're gonna find something every fucking time. Check on the. Okay, guys, I'm back home, so I figured I would try on. I didn't end up getting the blue heart cup. I asked Gabby, I was like, do I need to get it? And she was like, I think maybe you should wait because you just got like a whole bunch. And I was like, you know what? You're right. So I figured we could try on real quick. I just got two items at H&M. Um, one of them is literally this skirt, but in white because I have already worn this skirt four times, I think. So I saw that they had it in white, which I knew they had. And they also have it in a tan and I wish I had gotten it. I might order it online because I just, I've been getting so much wear out of these. I'm not wearing like the right underwear. I'm wearing like hot pink undies. So it's not the proper underwear to wear, but I don't care. I'm just trying it on real quick, even though I know how it fits because I'm literally wearing the exact same thing. I would probably do like shapewear under the white one just because it's white and you know how white is. Can I help you? But so cute for summertime. I love it. So I got that. I saw these linen pants and come on, come on. And I was like, well, I don't have blue linen pants. So, and these are a little bit different. These have a button. They have a little like tie and I actually put these on like a shopping guide. A little tighter than like I prefer. I like really, really loose linen. They still fit, but they're just, little bit tight they're like a cargo like a cargo-y oh, i would have liked these looser i really don't like like a relaxed pant when it's tight on my hips i don't know if you guys can see so i might need to exchange these there we go they're really cute though 
I, actually, yeah, because look at like where they're hitting. I should have tried them on tight, like here, and I don't, I don't like when linen pants are tight on my hip area. But the color is super duper cute. Oh my god, I'm so full. I had pasta, and I'm like ready to explode. Yeah, I think I would like these more in a bigger size because they're just, you can literally see it, like right here. They're pulling and. I don't I assume that they were gonna fit the same as the other Mediums like I always have them. I always buy a medium in my linen, but I love the color of them. So Super duper cute, but I am home now. I am about to get changed and just put like comfies on so that I can get on my computer and get to working um, so That will probably be the end of the vlog I hope you guys enjoyed. I will leave anything linked down below like I always do. Um, and I'll see you guys in the next video.